The Star Race is coming back, guys. The hype is real. Or at least, we thought it was real. Uh, before BlizzCon, the Star Race was giving us every reason to believe that they were coming back in full force. Uh, they were, I mean, they were, they mentioned in that, that original post they had, uh, I don't remember word by word, but it said, if Blizzard doesn't keep their promise, we will. And it gave everyone reason to believe, like, wait, is this Nostarius coming back? Like, maybe they found a legal loophole. Maybe they're going to move to North Korea or the USA can't touch them. I mean, maybe they're going to do something. I don't know. So there was a little bit of excitement in the community. And then they were super active during BlizzCon. Everyone's like, hey, what's the announcement? Hey, what's the announcement? And they're like, wait till after BlizzCon. And, you know, the very next day, at least if you're, if you're in the United States, the next morning, we get this great announcement. And... Before, let me, let me give you a little bit of understanding. They gave us a lot of reason to believe that Nostalgia was coming back in full force. At least that's that's what I thought. There were some people who didn't think that. But prior to their, their recent big announcement, they gave us, I mean, every reason to believe that they were going to be coming back in full force. I remember they, they retweeted, uh, some, someone made a video, I can't remember quite his name, but he made a video about how Nostalgia is coming back. And uh, he's kind of a big streamer. Nostalgia could be coming back. They could be opening a new server in Russia where the U.S. United States or Blizzard can't really get to him as well, and Blizzard, or sorry, Nostarius liked that and retweeted it, and so it kind of made it look like they're agreeing with this. And then they they had that post, which you know this is where the hype really came from. They had a Twitter picture. It showed the Nostarius gravestone, and it said Nostarius on it, and it showed a hand coming out, like rising from the dead. And you know you're like, hey, wait, Nostarius died. And it's coming back. It might come back. This is a picture of something dead coming back to life. It says Nostarius. You know, you don't have to be a freaking genius to put two and two together and go, you guys are coming back. That's what this means, right? And then they launched that that announcement that wasn't anything to be excited about. We're all I'm all expecting we're back in black, Nostarius. And I, we pull up the announcement, and it's just like they're saying we are now releasing the source code. They get this big long spill. Blizzard didn't fulfill. Now Blizzard has had plenty of time, which I agree with. You know, we can leave Blizzard out of this conversation as much as we can because I'm still pissed with them. But that they said Blizzard's had enough time and if they're not going to do it, we're going to release our source code. And I was like, I, that's not what I want. You gave us reason to believe you were back. Like we were going to, I was going to get my character back and get a play on, on freaking Nostarius. I mean, maybe that was wishful thinking, but that's kind of what I, I started to believe, or at least a fresh start with Nostarius. Well, they, they mentioned we're releasing our source code, and I'm, you know, what what good is that? Now everybody can release their own server. Woohoo! We get 300 high quality servers. Not a lot of uh, hype there. And then they mentioned this new server that they're backing. Um, some of their, their devs are going to, which caught my attention. Uh, the servers, the the Valkyrie group, Valkyrie is it Valkyrie group, I believe, and they have the Elysium server. I mean, maybe I'm saying that wrong. Pull it up on dictionary.com. It's <laughs> there's a lot of different ways to say it, but the Elysium server, and i got to be honest, that's not what I wanted. I think that's what not what a lot of people wanted. I think we were wanting to, they gave us reason to believe they were coming back. That's what we wanted, and we didn't get that. And so, I mean, I, I, this whole morning, a lot of us have been bummed. I mean, go to the forums. I know they're always toxic, but everybody's pissed. Saying this, what what good is this? And I'm kind of confused because Nostarius did not really deliver on that announcement. And it, Well, here we are now, a few hours later, and a lot of has been being said about this new Elysium server. And... I think Elysium made a better announcement than Nostarius did. They, they, they had this announcement where they said, here's what we're going to do. We're taking the player database from Nostarius, putting it on this new Elysium server, which is going to be the entire core of the Nostarius server. So this has given us more reason to be excited. I was kind of like, Nostarius, why didn't you tell us you were going to do this in your announcement? I, I mean, maybe, maybe you did. You spread the announcement and you knew exactly what was happening. And I'm an idiot. It could happen. But for me, and I think a lot of other people, we didn't quite fully get that message across in this announcement that Nostarius gave, but Elysium gives it to us, and they're like, hey, we're going to have a player database, uh, players from the Nostarius server is going to have priority over the, the names, priority over all the Elysium names, so if there's like a problem, you're going to have to rename if you're an Elysium server. I really don't care, nobody ever takes my name. So, But we could get our characters back. And so we could get Nostarius back, it's, this is what it sounds like, we're getting Nostarius back under a new name of Elysium. I mean, is if, if please tell me in the comments if that's if I'm picking this up wrong because it, it has not been, it's been a little bit difficult to understand and then I don't quite know much about like, uh, like coding. I'm not even a novice, I really don't know. So I don't know quite the scale of a project of what this is, 
maybe that's impossible. Maybe the Nostalgia server can only run on that the server that was in France and cannot run on. By the way, Elysium is a Russian server, which is good for us because that's harder to shut down. I don't know all the politics of it, but uh, <laughs> pretty sure Vladimir Putin doesn't care what American companies think of him so or his, his country's laws. So I don't know quite what that means. I feel like it's some protection being in a different country like that versus France. But, you know, either way, they're they're going full force with this. So, I mean, what we could be getting Nostarius back. That's what it seems like. And to me, that's pretty good. I don't care what we call it. If some of the Nostarius devs are there, we're getting a, the, the same server, which, what frankly, I think is not the best running server. Nostarius is not as far as uh, there were more bugs in that than I found in maybe Kronos. I don't know if everyone's experience was that way. But that doesn't matter because it's the devs behind it. They... Don't do a pay. To, there's no cash store, anything like that. And overall, it is a really good server. So if we're getting that quality server with that many people, the community, I mean, we can get everything we want. Now, if you're one of the people that wants to start fresh, I totally get that. I kind of do too. Um, but I also want to have my character back because he was only level 57 shaman. But I mean, I freaking, I had so much experience, so much fun on that guy. I want him back. So if you have 60 or more than 160s, I can only imagine how much more you want those characters back. Or maybe you want a fresh start. I feel like this can be discussed, but it will be nice to believe that, hey, maybe we could be getting Nostarius back. Um, I think there's a little bit of smoke that needs to clear before we have it solid for sure what's going to happen. Maybe Blizzard might come in and say, uh, nope, no you're not. Here's this reason. I don't know quite, quite what could happen. I'm hesitant to believe a promise because I don't quite know if it can be delivered right now. But overall, I think this is a huge deal for us legacy servers. I mean, people who want legacy servers. Because one, and most important, we could have our community back. And we could have our game back. And to me, that's victory. That's all I want. The next thing is this is a big screw to Blizzard. If you don't do it, we will. And then three, and this is kind of, if this server gets shut down again, what stops us from starting another one? And how much money does it cost Blizzard? I mean, at, at what point do they have to just freaking accept that we are going to play on a legacy server. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope we get Elysium. Blizzard says, look, I'm sick of this. Just play your stupid server. We'll keep playing Legion, and that's fine. I don't mind Legion. Just you play it. I want to play Legacy. And just let us do our thing. That would be great. And then we can have our community and just freaking enjoy the game. That's all we want is to enjoy the game. So anyway, just that's that's what I've experienced with all this. Leave, some, uh, thoughts in the, leave your thoughts in the comments, and let me know what you think. See ya.